Hello everyone, today we have a very useful video for those who are tired of constantly charging their smartphones, phones, or tablets. After these settings, your Android phone will really last longer. I'll tell you about the main battery problems. Why does the battery drain quickly? Sometimes you buy a new phone, it holds a charge very well, but after 2 to 3 months you notice that the phone doesn't last through the day. For example, you wake up with a 100% charge, go to work or somewhere else, and by the evening you have 15 to 20% left, which means the phone lasts until about 8 a.m. without active use. Only regular calls, social media, browsing, watching videos, YouTube, and so on. And for those who play games, the phone lasts a maximum of 4 to 5 hours, regardless of the Android version or phone model. You will find all these settings on your phone. You just need to go through the standard settings. If you have difficulty finding any settings for your model, let me know. You can use the search bar here, which will take you to a lot of similar basic and advanced settings. So, first, we need to go to the security section. This section is available in the standard settings. And if it's on the home screen, like mine, we go here and scroll down a bit. We need to find data traffic. It's a small icon, so, we enter data traffic. And here we have network connections. We go here, on the right side. You can see active check marks. This means that these apps have constant access to the mobile data, and they update, show ads, download useless money, exchange information, and constantly drain your battery. Of course, when you have two or three apps, it's not a big deal, but when you've been using your phone for two or three months, I'm sure you have about 100 apps, including system apps, which are all listed here. And each app is updated about two or three times a week. But that's just the update. Data exchange happens very frequently, even at a certain time every day. And I'm just talking about one of these apps. They exchange information even when you're not using your phone. They just need to connect to your mobile data. Of course, you need to go through all these settings and disable almost all the apps. I recommend leaving only the ones you use frequently but that require internet access, like messaging apps or apps that send notifications. You can disable everything else, and this will significantly save battery. Next, in the upper right corner, there's a small arrow that you can slide. If we slide it, we'll see hidden Wi-Fi networks. When connected to Wi-Fi, these are the same apps, but they're accessing your Wi-Fi connection. I would have already disabled many of them. You see, I have almost everything disabled, but some apps still send independent Wi-Fi connection requests when downloading something new. So, you can go through the unnecessary apps again to reduce battery consumption. After that, you need to tap the three dots on the right. There's a setting here called Background Connection. Click here, and we'll go to another menu with other apps. If you haven't been here yet, be sure to find and visit this section, because in the background, when all these apps are running, they can launch processes to support the operation of certain apps. This affects your RAM and constantly loads the phone, which leads to an increase in the processor frequency. All of this, of course, drains the battery. Perhaps this is not so noticeable for those with a battery capacity of 5000 mAh or more. But even with all these settings enabled, as I'm showing you now, the battery still drains quickly. Try checking all these settings, connecting and adjusting them, and you'll definitely notice a significant improvement in battery life. As for background connections, I have almost everything disabled, but some apps still show up at the end. When you download something new, they automatically send a request to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You need to go here again and disable all of this, especially games. Again, leave only a few apps that you use frequently. This could be YouTube, WhatsApp, Viber, or other apps you frequently use. You can disable everything else without hesitation. After that, completely exit the menu and go to the standard settings. Here they are. Go there and find the Google section. If you use the Google Play Store, you definitely have this section. Find it and go here. Look for the menu with additional settings, or you will be taken directly to this menu. Nothing will change. I recommend disabling the ads that are constantly downloaded to your phone. In this section, you need to complete three steps. Reset the advertising ID, confirm the deletion of the advertising ID. And you should only have one option left. 
Get a new advertising ID. This will not remove the ads completely, but there will be significantly fewer of them. Then go back. Now go to personalization with general data. Here you will have several apps. Some may have five or six, I have four and one more. You will go and be surprised that they are all active. You can read more about this here, but I will explain briefly. The first option allows Google Apps to use data on your device. What is this data? It's absolutely all the data related directly to these apps, like maps. But this includes location, access to your GPS, your route, and so on. It also includes your YouTube email, what you view in Google Chrome if you search for any information there, but that's just a small part of what I mentioned. In general, you should turn this on, but again, you don't have to turn everything on. For example, I leave YouTube on, but you might want to turn it off if you rarely watch YouTube videos. This slider will make it easier for you to find similar videos. If you really watch videos, you don't need this slider either, so you can turn it off. Then we go back along the arrow and there's another setting called, Find My Device. It's best to turn this off because it constantly uses your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, even if they're turned off in the notification bar. For example, your Bluetooth is currently off, but it's constantly searching. You need to turn this feature off. And there are a few more settings on your phone. It looks like we've disabled them, but it's not that simple. The developers have hidden various settings related to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and your data connection. You need to check everything. And I'm done with this menu. We're going back to our standard settings. Now scroll to the very bottom and look for the location section. That's it. Here, you have location access disabled. See if we activate it. You see, the GPS icon has appeared. And here, our GPS location is working. Let's say you know that if you use maps, the battery drains about five times faster. Now, if we disable GPS here, close it, it will also automatically disable it in this setting. That's how it should be. But there's another section here called geolocation. We go here, to the very top of Google geolocation. We also go to this section. Here, you have geolocation enabled, although it's disabled there. We disable it here too. Now, we go back with the arrow. Let's move on to data transfer. Now the page is loading. And check if you've ever been here. You'll have a feature enabled here called, Show Your Location to Other Users. I already have this feature disabled. I disabled it. It should look like this. The GPS icon is crossed out, and the map icon says, Don't show your location to other users. Now let's go back. There are two more important settings. Having Wi-Fi constantly on and having Bluetooth constantly on also drains your battery significantly. Look at, Scan for Wi-Fi Networks. I go to it, it's enabled to allow apps and services to scan for Wi-Fi networks, even when Wi-Fi is off. But imagine now that everyone carries their phone everywhere. Wherever you go, there are lots of stores, shopping centers, and various establishments. There are Wi-Fi hotspots almost everywhere. Almost every phone has Wi-Fi, and you just walk down the street, and your phone scans for all these devices via Wi-Fi. Yes, they are constantly there. They all change on your phone but you don't even notice it because you don't go into those settings. And this constant, unnecessary searching also drains your battery. In any case, all these found networks, most of them, are password protected. And if you even need to connect to Wi-Fi, as we usually do, you just go to the Wi-Fi settings, enable manual searching, and find the right point. But this setting is completely useless. We disable it, go back along the arrow. Don't look at the Bluetooth device. It says the same thing there. Even when connected, Bluetooth still works. Here it's off. Now look at Bluetooth in general. Well, almost everyone has it turned on these days because many people carry wireless headphones, and Bluetooth should be on and working by default. But this applies not only to headphones. Some people have watches, some have wireless bracelets. While the situation with Wi-Fi is still somewhat debatable, the situation with Bluetooth is generally even worse. So, let's take this feature and disable it further. Return to these settings. Return to the standard settings. Type the word, auto start, in the search. You don't have to type the whole word, it depends on how you find it. Here we found, auto start in the background. For sound, it will simply be, auto start.
or if you can't find auto start, search for background modes, background connection, or similar names. Go to this setting. And here are all the apps that are here. Select them and disable them. I already did all this a long time ago. I showed you in other videos. They will all be active for you. Like this. They appear at the top. They run 24-7 with auto start in the background. That is, this setting drains the battery 2-3 times faster than without it. Why? 